Good afternoon, YouTube. I am back. I'm back in my original uh, location where I recorded some of my uh, other list videos. In this video, I want to get back to the website from scratch. I've been planning this one for a long time. It's basically just showing you how to handle RSS uh, in Common Lisp using a library called CL Feed Parser. Now you can see already that I've loaded up the content from like the um, system from the previous videos. However, I have uh, deleted a bunch of stuff. So the mix, the mix-ins from the previous video have basically just become this. Has image, has text, has href, has title. I deleted a bunch of like um, all the method combination stuff for displaying the pages and I just changed it so the home page is only looking like this. Now I will say obviously like normal I've already actually written all this stuff. Um, I just obviously I'm going to write it first. So I will make a contact to dot lisp. So first and foremost what I want to do is add uh, little icons here. These little icons will be like uh, links for con getting in contact. Um, in this case, it's just going to be the YouTube channel. Uh, but we're going to do it in a way that me makes it really easy to add new ones. That's all. So we've got our new file, contact2.lisp. We're going to do in package site def parameter contact, which is just going to be a list. Um, and then we're going to write a macro called def contact, which takes an image and a URL and then just expands to push new, make instance contact. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Don't want to forget our class uh, contact which has an image and has a href, which is from our mixins here has image, has href, it just adds these two slots. And we will then have uh, image, image, href, URL. And we'll push that to contacts. And our test will be string equal. And our key will be href. And now I'm actually just going to copy and paste this because there is no point me going and uh, getting all of that again. But it's just, this is just a. PNG, a link to a very bad quality YouTube logo. I don't know where to get the actual YouTube logo from, but you know, and then this is my YouTube channel. There you are. Um, so now in contacts, oh. Site contact has image forward. All oh, right, okay. Mixins because I didn't compile any of this. Um, there we are. Now, if we do contacts, we have our single one here. Now, the only problem here is we're using push new. So, if we actually change this, but use the uh, don't use a different URL, then it'll uh, it won't actually change it. We have to remake or recompile contacts to clear it. That's okay. You could use a hash table. We could use a plist, something. It's just for ease, just to demonstrate. Um, right now, we want to use we want to make a method to uh, display it in HTML. Now, in my package, I have imported from Spinneret the with HTML method. Or function with HTML. Ah, now because we're going to be making use of with accesses, uh, image, image, href, href, contact, blah, blah, blah. Instead, I have written a macro which is here. Uh, so we have this macro called quick accesses. If we do with accesses here, you can see at the bottom the slots instance body. So it, fo it follows the same syntax, but uh, what it does is it lists the value of the slots. 
so we have we have like so quick accesses image href contact it goes through it goes through grab takes image lists the the uh, that slot image with that slot lists them together to produce the the list with the the access and name uh, at the start so we can see the expansion so you can see what it does there it's just a it's just for convenience um, uh, div class contact a class oops, contact href 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 image class contact image source image and we're just going to make it 50 px and we're going to create a, a function called display contacts which just displays all of them div class contacts map c display contact contact so now we use this to define we use our macro def contact to define new uh, instances of this class and push them into this list. We then have our method for displaying each individual one and our method for displaying all of them. So if we go to pages slash home, we will just uncomment this little bit of code. And hopefully we haven't broken it. There it is, it's loaded. The, uh, the contact now now if we want to add new ones all we have to do is write a new def contact with the image and the link so say telegram twitter just put the twitter logo link and the link to the twitter account refresh the page and it'll pop up here problem solved now for the uh, main show I suppose and that's going to be feeds what did I name the file? Content. So this is how we're going to display most of the content. So we're going to call it content two dot list in our package site. Now the plan here is under here. We'll be able to. It will just display all the um, information on things like you know maybe I have. Maybe there's an RSS feed for a blog. Maybe there's an RSS feed for the YouTube channel, whether well, it is um, RSS feed for Twitter, something like that. Um, and I, I want it all uh, to be separate. So each feed separate, but each piece of content within. Um, so, you know, as always, here it is. Um, so we'll go through and I'll show you how we handle um, how we handle RSS in common list. So we're going to have feeds. Oh, oh, that was meant to be def parameter. Feeds. Def. Def class. I'm not going to type it all out. There's no point. So we have def class RSS feed, which has a href, a title, the last time, uh, which will be the, the uh, previous time that we checked for content, the actual content. And then the content, so the entries that have been filtered will become afterwards. And then we're just going to have a subclass of that, which is YouTube feed. So we can control how they're displayed. And then we're going to have our exactly the same, um, basically the same macro as the previous one. So we're just using, we're just pushing a new version, of the, but this time we're passing the class in. So, and then we have def RSS here. There's no point in me typing all this out, but if we check feeds, we have YouTube feed here, content unbound, href. That's the link to um, my YouTube channel. Now I'll, uh, I'll find a, uh, there's a website I use that uh, told me how to discover these. It's, it's pretty simple, you just take this the uh, video's XML channel ID equals, 
and they just append your uh, YouTube channel onto the end. And it's got a title on my channel, that's it. Now, for the more interesting stuff, we're going to make a method called grab feed, uh, which RSS takes RSS feed. We're going to use quick accesses, href, last time content filtered, RSS, setf, content request, RSS, href, last time, local time now filtered filter rss rss now the purpose of filtering filter rss is to remove entries we don't want so say we want to say i made an appearance on a different channel uh like um i don't know perhaps brody robinson or something i don't know uh interviewed me for, for whatever reason um I, I could then go through his channel and filter them May, say you're making a website for for someone who regularly makes uh, appearances on different channels, but you don't want the, um, you don't want all of the content from the channel. You only want the content that involves this specific person. Well, the filtering will filter the content. We'll, 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 we'll show you how we make that in a second. So we're going to make a function called request RSS, which just takes a URL and it will pass it. See our feed parser pass feed dex get url so dexador dexador is used for making http requests Let's see um so we're going to if we take our feed which we have here and we grab the the href and then we do request rss on that we now have all of our rss entries our data that's been returned so we have our hash table of each of the entries now this is what we filter is this information so that's request rss now it is important uh, this is very basic i'm going to probably continue this but we'll want to do some error handling as well at some point now we are going to write the part for filtering so we're going to have a class called filter which just has a fun action i don't know why i'm right now there's no point um just a class here that takes a function and just has a name defund new filter name fun push new filters doesn't exist yet but I will go and make it the same sort of pattern coming up uh, constantly so the purpose of a filter is um, it will just be a function that returns either T or nil and we'll loop through all the entries that we saw here and we'll call every filter on every entry. And if any of them return true or evaluate to true, then we'll include them in the content and put them in the filtered content slot. Um, yeah, let's use just write our macro, def macro, uh, def filter, name, body, body, new filter name lambda we're going to take two arguments entry and feed although if you wanted to take arbitrary arguments you could just use a rest use a rest parameter and then call it with apply something like that we're going to declare ignore entry and feed and then we're just going to expand body this saves having to write this new filter name lambda dot 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 every time it's just there implied and then we're just going to have a filter that doesn't do anything but we can see what it expands to here so we evaluate that and then check filters here we have filter with our function and our name okay so now we need to uh, check if the filter works 
filter entry and the feed the feed is the YouTube feed in this case um, and the entry is an individual uh, entry within the feed so in the, in the hash table I showed you earlier fun cool fun filter entry and feed oh and then we want to match all of them if any match feed and entry loop for filters in filters there is matches e. so this when we call what was it complaining about oh. what this is doing is looping through for the entry it's looping through every filter and checking matches p and if it returns t it's checking if it returns t okay so now we're going to make a method called def method filter rss which is we reference here filter rss needs to return a list of entries that we want to be displayed by in the css um, rss rss feed quick accesses content filtered rss when content if there is nothing we don't want to bother let entries get hash entries content move if not lambda e for entry matches filter p entries there we are so if we take our feed and we have we don't have our content yet because we haven't requested we don't have we have not called grab feed so let's do grab feed okay Ooh. so we've got a content in here that's already gone through grab feed automatically has called filter rss so because the um because it doesn't actually because t it doesn't do anything it just returns t of course all the entries are there invalid but we could do like a could perform a check on the name we could check we could do like a, a regex search of the description looking for my name or something featuring or something you know just to, just to filter out things we don't want specifically we could filter it by time or date or anything like that um, but this now we have all our um, information we now want to display each individual RSS entry now I'm not going to type this out because it's uh, it's tedious um, but you'll see here where it would be very useful for me to make a um, wrapper around get hash to make this a little quicker but what we're doing is we're getting let's grab this we're grabbing the media oh actually let's get this this is an entry as a hash table yeah, we're just grabbing these keys. So we've got media description, we got a link, which is the link to it, the URL, which we have to get for the, or the thumbnail. So we have to go into media thumbnail here and grab the URL and the title, which is here. And then we're just going to format it nicely into our.
Okay, that's that. We can now, uh, if we take, that's one entry. Where's our feed? Here's our feed. If we do display RSS entry feed and our entry, there we are, it's displaying it. Now we just need to do the same thing where we have contact where we go through and display all of them. We just have to do that again, but um, for RSS, for all of the RSS. this and then we want map C lambda E display RSS entry feed entry filtered Ooh, what we made a mistake Now let's take our feed and do display RSS. And then we have all of our RSS entries filtered nicely to be put into HTML. So let's go to home and uncomment this. Because we're not, we're going through and displaying each one of the feeds because of course we have YouTube feed, but what if we have a Substack feed? Something like that instead. Then we just subclass, make a new one for RSS feed, and make a new version of uh, display RSS entry, and a new version of display RSS for those. Um, but we don't have to make a new version of def RSS. Oh, my dog's about to start barking, of course. Um, so let's now go check this and here we are it looks ugly but you don't really need to see me going through and adding a bunch of um, CSS I have a small amount in CSS I've added a few things so you know I've got like um, CSS variables I've added RSS entry for flex RSS feed for flex and that's about it but it is ugly obviously because I need to go through and change it I need to change we need to change that we could even go through and find hyperlinks starting with HTTP and turn them into actual links but I think that's all a bit much anyway I'm gonna do a bit more with um, this uh, feed passing that was just the basics because of course in the background we need to uh, constantly refresh like every 10 15 minutes we need to refresh so when someone comes on the website and does a request, it actually has the latest content. Um, yeah, well, I hope you uh, find that uh, useful. I plan on making a lot more videos now I'm back, but we'll, we'll, you know, I keep saying that, but we'll see.